So guys, everybody asks how to wrap hands. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, you can find a bunch of tutorials online, but this is a good option. Um, and plus, we're using the custom Broom County Martial Arts hand wrap. Okay, so some guys say you roll it up into the nice ball or whatever, but really what you're gonna do is you're just gonna throw them out on the ground anyways. And then find your spot. So here, usually there's a, this side down, so this one you can tell the seam is down. That makes sure that when you go through, you'll have the Velcro where you want it. Alright, so we're going to start with our thumb, and everything's going to go over the back of our palm. You're going to have like a nice little coin roll right here, nothing in the palm of your hand with this wrap. So I'm going to go, fingers open, we'll do the three method, right? So I'll hit one, two, <coughs> and then a third around my wrist, okay? Then we go over the back of our hand, we're going to wrap up our knuckles, okay? One, two, three. And the reason why I like this is because you can, if you want to put like a foam pad or something like that, protect your knuckles, you can lock that in right here, okay? So again, this is my third wrap right here. And then I'm going to finish back along my wrist one time, okay? So now from here, we're going to start going through our fingers, all right? So I go across the back of my hand. I'm going to go between my pinky and my ring, all right? I can make a fist as I do so. I'm going to wrap it down and around and bring it right back to where I started, all right? And then from here, we can lock that in if you'd like, or you can go right into the next one. That's choice is yours. I personally like to lock it in. Then we go up to the index and the middle finger. Okay, right through. This time again, I make a little fist, I pull it through, and I'm going to end back down at my wrist. Make one wrap, boom, coming back up and through my ring and middle finger, and then towards my thumb, make a nice tight fist, and then lock that in. Okay, now from here, I usually make one last pattern up over my knuckles, make that X, all right? And then if you guys like to put lock in the thumb, I'm going to go just over my thumb right here, make sure it's comfortable, and then finish the rest on the wrist. And from here you can see it's nice and tight or taut. And again, you have this nice open piece right here. You can MMA spar, you can boxing, hit your mitts, all right? And your wrist and your knuckles should be pretty well protected.